Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at taking the Photoshop patchwork effect and turning it into a full on design. So this is what our final design is going to look like. As you can see we applied the patchwork effect to the background of this image as well as to his hands. And it makes his hands pop out even more and it just adds to the effect and makes the picture look really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need is an image where something pops out more than everything else. For example, in this image, as you can see, his hands pop out way more than anything else. They're in a cool pose and they're in front of his body. Perfect. And also, you need an image with a transparent background like this one. If you just want to use this image to recreate the effect, then scroll down and I'll put the link to this image in the video description below. So let's get started. Once you have your image, uh, click on image image size. We want to find out the width and the height of this image. The width is 500 and the height is 746. So I'm going to press OK, click on File, New, and put a width of 500 and a height of 746 and press OK. Now what we want to do is create a black to white gradient on this image. So I'm going to select the gradient tool. It might be hidden under your paint bucket tool. Just click and drag out and select the gradient tool. Then start from the bottom, hold shift, click and drag all the way to the top. And we have a gradient that looks like this now. Once you have this gradient, click on filter, distort, and click on wave. And make sure the type is selected as square and press OK. Now you have something that looks like this. Next, click on filter, texture, patchwork. And this is where the patchwork effect comes in. We want a square size of about 5 and a relief of about 5 and press OK. Now we have this. Now I'm going to select the pointer tool and just click and drag this onto the background of our original image. And now we have something that looks like this. I'm going to minimize this. And what we want to do is apply another gradient to the background. Uh, this is going to be a green to black gradient to match with the clothes uh, this guy is wearing in this image. So let's double click on this layer, on the background layer, click on gradient overlay, and I already have the gradient made. It's a green to black gradient, and if you want the hex code for the green color, it is 8AAA83. So just green to black, press OK. I have, I'm going to set my angle at 0, and uh, let's change the blend mode to linear burn. And the scale to about 100% and press OK. Now we have the background made. Now let's focus on his hands. This is where it gets a little more difficult. I'm going to choose my zoom tool and just zoom in onto his hands a little bit to make things easier for us. And what you want to do is select your magnetic lasso tool. You might be on your lasso tool, so just click and hold, pull out, and click on your magnetic lasso tool. And what you want to do is just select his hands. Just click once at the top and just pretty much come down. And you just want to keep clicking to set key points. And you want to do this for his whole hand. And I'll see you guys in a second. This might take a while, so I'll see you guys in a second once I have his whole hand selected. All right, once you're done, it should look something like this. You just want to select his hand. And now what we're going to do to make things a little smoother is go to Select, Modify, and let's feather it a little. Let's give it a feather radius of about maybe 3 pixels, press OK, and that should help us out a little bit. And now what we're going to do is make sure that you're on him, his layer, the image of him, and then right click on the cut and click on layer via copy. Now what this is going to do is, as you can see, it's going to make us a new layer with just his hands. And I'm just going to hide his picture so we can just focus on his hands. One more thing we want to do is uh, use the magnetic lasso tool again and just pick out the these little parts inside of his hand. So just go ahead and pick these out and once you have it fully selected you just want to feather it a little bit. Go to select, modify, feather. Let's maybe give this a feather of one pixel, press OK and then just press the delete button. And then command D or control D to deselect. And you want to do that for uh, these two too. So I'll see you guys back in a second when I have that done. Okay, and when you're done, it should look something like this. 
Now what you want to do is apply the patchwork effect to the hands too. So let's go to filter, texture, patchwork. Now the patchwork effect is going to be a little smaller. I'll make the square size about 3 or 4 for this one. And the relief I'll keep at 5 and press OK. And now we have this patchwork effect. So I'm going to bring him back. I'm going to zoom out. And now the patchwork effect is a little too much, so what I'm going to do is uh, click on the layer with the patchwork effect hands and bring down the opacity just a little bit, maybe to about 80%. Now with the opacity down, you could tell that these are his hands because it goes over his actual hands and it blends together. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, we are now done. Uh, feel free to uh, just mess around with this, apply your patchwork effect to different parts of the body and see how it looks. And just mess around with it and see what you could come up with. That's it for this video. This is Octotuts.com. And until next time, I will see you guys later.